Cheeseball Dave here, here to meet Tim and Jacko for the School of Calisthenics. About to learn me some handstands. But no one's here yet. Hey, Dave! Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, here's a few bits that we're going to uh, teach you today. Oh my flipping days! Oh my days! You got that in the locker. That's just uh, half an hour. <laughs> oh my days! Welcome back to School Cast Science. It's Tim and Jacko, and we've got a special guest with us, Cheeky Dave. Come on! <laughs> hey, I'm here, ready to learn from these two absolute professionals. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try and teach Dave a bit of stuff. We didn't know actually what, what he'd done before he arrived, and he's just rocked up, and he's gone straight off. He's gone. So what's your, what's your background? He goes, Well, I started doing handstands when I was 13 years old. I was like, Hang on a minute. <laughs> Significantly longer than Dave and I. And Dave and I looked at each other and you actually might be better than we are. <laughs> What's nah, the story? Definitely not. Well I, well, I used to, you know, I used to watch a bit of Dragon Ball Z back in the days, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how I kind of got into the, I like to say, the martial arts, a bit of flexibility, a bit of, you know, trying to do a few handstands and all that good stuff. And I think around like, the age of 13, I was like, you know what? Fear. Let me try this out and see how it goes in it. So I started off, you know, doing some stuff with the wall, then I managed to like get away from the wall. I even started doing a bit of walking. You know what I'm saying? But I know my technique was there because obviously I, nobody taught me anything. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. This was all me doing my own trial and error. And then, yeah, I, mean, I went to uni, found the bench press, game changed. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's and, my uh, and hey, I'm <laughs> I think there's boys across the country that are just going to fear that. <laughs> I also discovered the peg deck. <laughs> That combo. That, that combo. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> right. Kings have been made of a bench press <laughs> pecker deck superset. So we're going to take Dave away from uh, away from the bench press, and we're going to give him some handstand tips because he wants to get involved with all the guys um, from Cheeky Sport. Check them out in the description below with the handstand world records, where he's getting one up on his two mates before <laughs> we get working towards that. So this is what we're going to do today with Dave. So how many how many days a week are we training bench at the moment? Four days a week, four or five days a week, you know what I'm saying? Listen, every day's bench, every day's <laughs> chest day. Every day chest day out here, that's it, that's how we do it. Legs? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh. Hey. So up against the wall, just give us a bit of the old, see how feet against the wall, see how you can get your shoulders up. Okay, so one thing a bench is going to do for your shoulders is uh, give you a little bit of tightness up mm -hmm. these bad boys. So we're going to go for a little bit of mobility work, we'll start to get loosened off, get moving, get some temperature in there and then that's going to help us to link together a nicer movement pattern and hopefully get you looking beautifully strong. So you're going to come up onto your toes, push down hard through the floor and I'm going to rotate onto one side pushing my shoulder down or pushing down to the floor so I'm not slumped here, I'm driving up, I come all the way around. And then can I reach and put that other hand down onto the floor behind me? In that position, drive your hips up high, squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back, trying to open up your feel like your chest getting stretched, and then you're going to go back round to the really start position. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Good. Then work your way back. Oh, okay, back okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So round, push, put yourself high to the, push through there, that's it, and then come round. Hand goes down, when you're at the back here, lift the bum up and then squeeze these together and lift that, try and lift that chest side again, nice, you can feel that stretching here. Mm -hmm. Good, and then keep going around. Nice. Do one more, back the other way. Back this way. Yeah, yeah. back the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need much space for this. Nice. So we're getting a bit of like range, drive up, drive up, squeeze nice. up, shoulder space, nice. So we're getting range in the shoulder, open up the chest, but then also, it's not easy, is it? Like you get a bit too. Not this much. And then all the way, all the way, and then finish it off all the way around. Nice. So this exercise got introduced to me as a Pluto sniff, and I, I like to think of Pluto and Dizzy. Pluto Pass, sniff. Yeah. Backside <laughs> in the air, like face on the ground, like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so push-up position, you're going to just get nice and tight in midsection. One thing to think about is just not letting that back just sink down, so you yep. get nice and strong. Push hips high, and then the key there, open the shoulders up as much as you can. Drop yourself through, that's the sniff bit. Come to the bottom, reset, push back out. Alright, hold on the side, come through. So push up position? Yeah. Drive hips high, so you rock yourself back up, so sit your backside right up in the air. Keep going, keep going, open so you can push, that's the one there. Right. Nice and tall, so just feel that shoulder open. If you think about where we want to go with the handstand, it's starting to get those 
shoulders into a nice overhead position and drop yourself down. Imagine you're going to sniff the floor, you don't actually have to. Come all the way through the bottom into bottom of push up, lock in tight in section, drive out. Nice. Let's go two more, just really kind of push that hip high. Give the hamstrings a stretch, drop in. And lock in tight in section, good. We're starting to think about the handstand, one of the key things is can we link this joint with this joint? If mm -hmm. we can do that, then we can get a nice tight position. So this is just that whole time, whilst we're getting warm, we also start to think about getting a brain in to connect these two things together. One more time. Nice, drop it in. Good, lock in tight. Got reps for days in there. <laughs> so that's the shoulders taken care of. One thing that gets missed out a lot in um, handstand that actually helps a lot with the alignment is core strength. And what your abs are. I know you said every day was chest day, a cheeky sport, but every day at calisthenics is ab day. So we're going to test that, see what we've got underneath that <laughs> and if it's going to be able to work out. So we're going to do a um, hollow rock position and then we're going to test you after it. So I go line on my back. First thing I've got to do is try and create a dish shape in my body. So I've got to like pull my uh, pelvis underneath and I'm trying to press my lower back down onto the floor. So I can't feel the lower, you know, I can't feel the floor yeah. underneath my lower back. Press it down, can actually feel it. Then I make a nice long shape, a bit like a handstand, and then I'm going to try and make a rocking position where I've got that um, dish type position around my midsection. We just rock back and forth. The hands and feet never get closer together rather than there. And oh, there. Okay. Yeah, they always stay as far apart, but I'm just rocking. Rock in, just rock out. <laughs> yeah, you made it look easy, man. <laughs> Right. Right. Cheeky, cheeky bit of core. Cheeky bit of core, yeah? Alright, let's do this. Mm. Alright. So first thing, got to clamp that, that here. Yep. And then lift your legs up, good. And then we're going to try and take the leg, do a bit of a... Get yourself rocking on here a bit, good. We've got to pull your bum. Well, and when you go back, when you go back, try and pull your bum up in the air. Up, yeah? Alright. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me so, so, so a little bit in. Yeah, that's it. And when you rock back, you're gonna pull. You're gonna use your lower abs to pull your bum off the floor. Oh, all the way up. When you rock back, yeah, yeah. There, and then rock back, pull your bum. That's better. Good. There, now really pull this bit up. On. There. All right. My legs are swinging. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, no, wait, no, wait. Yeah. All right. So. So, but the legs, you don't want the legs getting... Yeah, so if you think that you're, you're like, imagine, imagine a dish or like a banana yeah. that's going to just tick tack rock like that. Okay. That's better. And then when you go, when you rock, I'll come through there, and then there. And we need to pick, when you go, when you go back, we need to pick that up. There you go. We felt that then. <laughs> So we're going to pick up on a frog stand. So this is our first intro point of getting used to balancing the hands and it's just going to help us, because you've already done a little bit before, it will probably just reinforce some of the stuff you already know, but it's a, it's a point from which we can start to progress and play around with a few different variables in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, on the ground, we're just going to think about using the hands like feet. So if you were just to lean forwards now, you'll feel your toes grip the floor to stop you from falling over. Brain sends a message to the toes, so there's grip on, on, on fall. We're going to use the fingers just like the toes. So on the ground, you want a little bit of space underneath the palm so we can use those. And when we're working, we want to see the fingertips wide at the end. So we actually know we've got a bit of active work going on. Into bottom of squat position, elbows bend, knees go up. We want to try and keep the elbows in pretty tight to the body so don't send them out to the side. And then you're just going to lift yourself up. And then the job is just to rock forwards until you feel like you can support yourself. So it's just like a seesaw. Find a balance point, keep pushing down, chill. Like like just bend your elbows and touch. So you're gonna almost all you're looking to try and do is rest your elbows or your knee on top of your elbows, get a little bit tighter in there, like for into that like crevice there. Yeah, yeah. And then just like the, the, some of the confidence is you just gotta stack the hips up on top of the shoulders. There you go. Keep gripping. Yeah, yeah. And just put. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Frog standing. Nice. So now you just gotta control it and see if you can just hold that balance mm. position. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, good. So that's that point, then you go right too far. Yeah. And in that position there, when you start to tip over, as you get better at it, you practice, your fingers and tips get stronger, so you can actually pull yourself back. But all you're trying to do the whole time there is just get that hip to stay above the shoulder, 
And if you can do that, you can just make the fire just with your hands. Okay. And then that's where you're like this sort of stuff here, and we're gonna do a bit against the wall in a minute. That's where you've got a load of opportunity to win on your handstand because at the moment it's up and you're kind of like having to fight to maintain a balance. This bit builds a little bit of stability from the ground, and then you can stack all that stuff up on top. But if you've got this bit nailed, you then just kind of like you can at least control the position a bit easier. Go okay. one more, and then we'll show you next level progression. Good, knees up nice and high. Got it. Just relying on all those years of the bench press. <laughs> <laughs> but this one I like because we started to link a little bit of handstand strength together, but we also started to get the shoulder and the hips to talk to each other. But we can get some capacity and knees get eyes as well as do some work. So it works, we call it a wall walk. So he starts off in a nice push up position, hands are going to go back. So this is not far away from when we're talking about like handstand walking, we get a bit of practice. When we get up to this position, he's going to try and make himself as long as possible. So that's obviously going to be our end point for our handstand if we can hold it still. So he drops in low, that's when he's like slack, just relaxing. So what he's going to try and do is push his hands into the ground to try and make himself as long as he can. And he's trying to push his toes at the wall. Now you go back to your hollow rock that we did to start off with, that like your kryptonite. <laughs> You're creating that hollow rock position. You see, locks in. Jack got a great ass. Oh, listen, listen. <laughs> Squat there every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's 14 years of pro rugby. Oh, right. I'm telling you. Lunges. Just give it a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so lock in that, that that hollow body position. Get tight. Make yourself long, and you can bring yourself back into bottom position. And if we start to rep these out. All right. All right. So you're all right. Okay. Okay, these, are, these are hard mate, just, just so you know, these are flipping hard. When you come back yeah. yeah. So how, yeah, so how, how, so where are you starting from again? Just start with like basically push up with your feet against the wall. And then as you feel like confident, go as far as you feel, you might not need to go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right! <laughs> but from oh, here, that yeah. might stop you from reaching the... Yeah, you all the way through. Yeah. Speed. Uh, yeah, so we get this bit of the wall walk, and then we get time we can get practice wall position, and we'll go kick up, and then I reckon we'll go partner assisted, and then we're there. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Right. So so it's going to be my press up position, feet against the wall. Keep tight in this bit section. Don't want any banana back action going on. So then just start to walk your hands backwards and walk your feet up the wall. That's it. Keeping it strong in the middle. You build up a side before, upside down before, so you know you can, you're pretty comfortable. So hold that tight, good. All right, so from that position there, push your hands down to the ground, try and get your toes as high up the wall as you can. You can point your feet, your feet together, lock in that midsection, squeeze glutes, get the bum worked on, try and open that chest up and look towards the wall. Nice, nice there nice you go. Nice good, lock in midsection tight. That's the position, That's there the you go. Thing. Good, then just drop yourself back in. So relax in position and drive one more up. Go tight, squeeze that bum under. There you go. Nice, then walk yourself back out into your push-up position. Keep strong, keep strong. Hold that middle. Good, bring your feet down there. That's the one, good. Just, so we do 10. So Jacko's job from here is gonna go like track stars if he was a sprinter, split leg position. This back leg acts as a pendulum, it's just gonna kind of kick, but the front leg is the one that gives it the power. So give a good, good nudge from the front leg, use the back leg until you find the wall. From that position there, it's exactly the same as what we just did with the walk ups. He tries to make himself long, locks in the midsection, backside working hard, and then we can just practice that position. Then, the job is to go back to what we learned about hands there, the frog stands using the fingertips. He stays and keeps himself nice and tall. Feet start to come off the wall, and now he's just got any. But show me if you can't do it, Dave. What? Give him a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacko's job from here is going to go like track stars if he was a sprinter, split leg position. This back leg acts as a pendulum, it's just going to kind of kick, but the front leg is the one that gives it the power. So give a good, good nudge from the front leg, use the back leg until you find the wall. From that position there, it's exactly the same as what we just did with the walk ups. He tries to make himself long, locks in the midsection, backside working hard, and then we can just practice that position. Then, the job is to go back to what we learned about hands there, the frog stands, using the fingertips. He stays and keeps himself nice and tall. Feet start to come off the wall. And now you just got any, but show me if you can't do it, Dave. What? Give him a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do is just make using the wall from that position to pull one leg off. Can you still create a little bit of stability? And then from there, can you just start to touch the feet against the wall? And then as you find that practice goes on, you're going to be able to bring the feet off the wall for longer until you've got 15 seconds. 
world record. Oh, WR. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Confident kick off. Confident kick off. Just one, one thing to know is this in our gym? They <laughs> <laughs> go through the wall. <laughs> through the wall. <laughs> A little disclaimer. <laughs> Real body <laughs> This is London, I actually thought they'd build yeah. these properly. Alright. No. Right, so you hands on the floor, split stance if you track sprinter. Front leg kick, back leg's just gonna go for like a pendulum. I'll help you just if you can't find it. Just give it a bit of things <laughs> off. Okay, alright. Ready, yeah? Yeah. First time like Nice, this. we like it. Right, so lock in tight mid section, push yourself nice and sore, try and straighten yourself out, feet together, create nice long strength. Right, good. So your job then, just keep that midsection working hard, lock in there, and then just start to see if you can pull a foot off the wall. Good, stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. Keep it going to meet it. Yeah, 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 now start playing around. You know this position a little bit. Try and keep midsection tight, push hands into the ground, stay long. That's it. Good. All right, perfect. So your job in that position, David, is you go your default pattern from when you learned to handstand before is to select the back arch. Yeah. So your job is what happens when you come through is you allow the shoulders to come down and the chest to lift up, and then to keep the balance, you have to then like scorpion over the top. So when you're in that position, you keep trying to push the head, the shoulders through, so biceps between mm -hmm. or head between biceps, and keep the length. And then if you can keep that straight, strong shape, then you've got a much better chance of lining up segments on top of each other. So biomechanically, it gets easier. As soon as you go out, we're increasing our like base of support or our centre of mass, but it means it's just like compensating all the time. So ideally, if we're going to try and build something straight or strong, we just stack everything up on top of each other. Yeah, so just build those segments up. So your major one is just to try and keep pushing that chest through. Um, look between the hands. Oh, so like look, so look down yeah. there. Or like I kind of spot the floor. So it's, to get super tight handstand, you kind of want to look in between. But actually, to give yourself a bit of visual reference and just spot below the end between your hands. Just from a balance perspective, helps a little bit. Just give it a second try, and then we'll get Jacko to put you up into a full freestanding. I'll try. Tall's the same Quick, quick, tall chip. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known I was going to do some answers today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go. I don't get that phase. I mean, if, I, if my missus finds a sock in the hole, it goes in the bin. <laughs> She's good like that. That's it, kick yourself up. Good, that's it. Nice. Locking that super tight move session. So, think hollow body position. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy. That's the one. That's a much better position. Yeah, and now just start to day. play around with that foot position. There you go, Dave. Now you're talking. Good. All right, I'm going to hold you. Just feel that balance position. That's where you need to be. Keep squeezing. Bum, 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 bum. That's it. That's better. There you go. There. Feel it? There. Good. Okay, rock forward. Nice. Drive up. There we go. He's got this. Straighten the legs. Good. Make yourself nice and long. Good. Squeeze up the summer. Push through. There we go. Feet towards the ceiling. Squeeze bum. Ooh. Yes, Dave! Well, I feel like in a short period of time, we've come quite a long way. Hey, we're about to shadow the doubt, man. I'm ready. From the starting point, I think we've done some great work there. I think you like, there's that bit we went into that handstand at the end, and you just pushed out that nice, long, straight shape. And I was like, you've got it. <laughs> oh, <that> works. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about that, because I... <laughs> I, uh, I hope the other boys from Cheeky Sport are watching this, because they've got a better catch. Hey, today. you man have got a lot of work to do, you know. A lot of work to do, I'm telling you. Right, we only need 400 people for that world record handstand attempt on the 23rd of June, but I'm going to say now 399. We've got one more signed up. one up. Yeah. So, with on that note, guys, nothing else to say. Great session, Dave. Thanks for coming to join us. Until next time, cast dismissed. <laughs>